Hey everyone, welcome to episode 5 of Aqualab. Now today before I get started, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about something I completely forgot to mention early on in the series, and that was about goals. Uh, I have picked out for myself one end goal that I'd like to achieve for this series, and it's pretty much why I named the series Aqualab. Um, I really want to try and get myself into a little bit of fish breeding from Mariculture. In fact, there's uh, quite a few things in breeding that I'd like to try to accomplish. So, what I'm going to try and set up here, um, if this permits, I think that'll look okay there, is basically like a goal board in a sense. I might wind up moving this at some point, but for now I think this will work just fine. So. Uh, first goal is going to be set up underwater. Oops, that is not going to fit there. Set up underwater aqua lab. So I'm going to hit done on that one. And then, let's see. Do I have any. Is that. Wow, that's a thing. <laughs> okay, was unaware of that. Can I do. Okay, then. I have a lot of bamboo, don't worry. I cut down a lot of the forest, and uh, this is basically all that's growing so far, so I've got a lot of it. And one of the other end goals that I want to accomplish is fish breeding. So I'm also going to leave a lot of this open for suggestions from you guys. That way, if you guys have some suggestions, you guys can leave them down in the comments below. And if it kind of fits along with the theme that I'm going for, for that would you know maybe fit down in my aqua lab um, kind of like you know science and all that good stuff then I will possibly add it here onto the board now there's some things that I'm not going to want to touch in as um, I just I kind of want to save it for later in a sense so um, there are some things that I will probably not touch on but you guys can still leave the suggestions down in the comment section below just understand that I, I do want to weight on a few things so anyways let's go ahead and put this away for now and start on today's work um, if you guys notice here I got a backpack here that I've named Mariculture Pearls if you shift right click you can actually rename your backpack I'm gonna leave it uh, Mariculture Pearls because this is what I've gotten so far three orange pearls I guess Maybe those are a little bit more common. But anyways, I've also picked up a couple more pearl oysters down from diving. And I guess since last episode, I haven't really done too much else. I've just been kind of uh, waiting around down here in the basement, hoping that I would get a enchanted book with respiration on it. And have not had any luck so far with that. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to change gears a little bit and get a different diving setup going. Um, I'm going to save this one because I do want to use this later on. In fact, let me actually go ahead and see if I can set up something real quick. Do I have any stone? Oh, there we go. This will work out just fine, I think. I'm going to make myself a bibliocraft armor stand. There we go. And I'm going to set this guy up like right here for now. And I should be able to put this on there just like that perfect there we go <laughs> I like that that's awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and delve into a little bit more of Mariculture because Mariculture still has some diving mechanics that we can touch on right now that should help us see underwater a little bit better um, where are we at how to dive breathing underwater so let me go ahead and take a look in here real quick. So one way we have the snorkel, which is pretty basic. We actually crafted one of those already to make, I believe, this book, in fact, which is pretty cool. Um, we also have the air pump, which is pretty awesome. Let's see what it says. Air pumps are what you are going to need in order to be able to use the diving gear to breathe underwater. Once crafted, you are going to place it down somewhere near where you want to dive. They have a range of 64 blocks each way and, let's see, when powered by hand or 40 when powered by a machine. Ah, okay. As said, you can either activate air pumps by right-clicking them or powering them with RF. 
On activation, the air pump will supply air to anyone wearing a diving helmet and air supply that is isn't within range. Ooh. Alright, so what I guess I'm going to need to do is try crafting myself this diving suit here. So I'm going to need a diving helmet, air supply, diving suit, and diving boots. Because one of the things that I want to work towards is, actually on the next page, it's this. This is my next tier of diving gear. The scuba mask, scuba tank, wetsuit, and flippers. So we'll have, like, mobility, we'll be able to see underwater better, and breathe as well. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to need a fair amount of copper, grabs nine, and some leather. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, the diving helmet is pretty easy, just like this. There we go. Next off, I know I'm going to need the diving air supply. I believe that goes in the chest plate. Yep, there it goes. Diving helmet goes on the top. <laughs> I can't see! Alright, let's just, um, let's put this away for now. Really don't have any use for armor. I haven't really been getting hit by anything lately, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and open this back up. Alright, so we're going to need the diving suit and two pieces of iron for the diving boots. There's the diving boots, and then last but not least, ooh, good thing we got a little bit of leather left over here. The diving suit. Awesome, there we go. Now we're decked out. <laughs> um, according to the book here, it says the diving helmet uh, will allow us a little bit more visibility underwater, so let's check that out real quick. Well, it doesn't feel like it's a lot more. I feel like I actually can move around a little bit faster. Or maybe that's just... Actually, I take that back. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> um, not knowing what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and set ourselves up a air pump real quick. I think I'm going to need the iron ingots unless... Oh, nope, we got two iron wheels right there. All right, let's take a look at the air pump again. So I'm going to need two of those, piece of glass, four pieces of wood, redstone, and a pump. Wait, it was only, it was only one glass, but I mean, come on. Better than that, man. All right, iron ingots. I need a piece of redstone. Actually, I'll need two of those. Because I'll need one for the piston as well. And I'm going to need six pieces of wood. So actually, let's use the jungle up real quick because I don't really just want to have that sitting around in there. And I think... Is that everything? I think so. Could be completely wrong here. Oh, I need um, a little bit of cobblestone. All right, first off, gonna make myself a piston. That goes there. Redstone, glass, iron wheel, and then I think, did I seriously count wrong? I did, it was seven. I said six. Wow, Bentley. Bentley's MLG Pro tonight. All right, there we go, air pump, awesome. That should be a good start for us. Now, this will supply us with air. I'm actually hoping to find myself. Do I have any feathers? Ah, nice, we do. Two feathers, piece of gold, and I should have some obsidian laying around somewhere. Right there, nice. I want to make myself a angel block. That way I can actually rest the air pump basically wherever I want, so. That's the plan at the moment. Let's see, next off, actually, hold on a minute. I'm trying to plan ahead here and it's not working too well. I think I'm gonna need some of these portable tanks. In fact, kinda wanting to use the hardened portable tank, but I do have some steel laying around too. So I think I'm gonna use that. Let's see, let's use the steel. I need two, four, plus, Seven, so I need 11 pieces of iron. What I'm going to make real quick is, in fact, a drum. There we go, from Extra Utilities. And that's what I'm going to be using to hopefully put the um, natural gas in that I'm going to go try and find by diving. 
I'm going to need, I believe, natural gas in the construction of neoprene. I think it's... Hold on, let me take a look real quick. Should show us in the flippers. Yeah, there's neoprene. So as you can see, we need a bottle of natural gas there in order to craft the neoprene. Oops, that's biomes of plenty. Hard plastic, we need limestone and ethanol and or natural gas. So, ooh, ethanol. Probably would be better just to use the natural gas. So that's what I'm going to try to use. Now, I've attempted to do this once before, and it was a little bit of a problem. And I say that, and I'll tell you guys once we get down there why it was a little bit of a problem. So we're going to do some diving a little bit more over here in the coral. Um, just so that way we can see a little bit better. We should be able to see fairly well. There's also some stuff that I want to wind up picking up too, which is like this. Rutile ore. I know I'm going to be needing this fairly soon. Ugh, get me out of there. Oh, there's more pearl oysters over here. All right, let's go ahead and start our dive. So we're going to put our angel block right there. And we'll let's see. Can we fit this on there? There we go. Air pump. Should just be able to right click this. I don't know how much I have to right click. I don't know if there's going to be any indication of how much I need to right click this. The diving I've done was without this suit, actually. I've <laughs> I just went down and um, did it myself in squid form. But I'm trying not to use squid form in this. If anyone's giving that tip. Um, it's a really good tip. Squid form is really nice to use here um, for like underwater diving and stuff. But I'm trying not to do that because it kind of defeats the purpose, I think, a little bit of the diving suit. Um, hopefully this is enough. So if I like right click this, oh, do I have to manually right click this? Uh, that could be a little bit of a problem. You know what I could do? I think that's what I'm actually going to, I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like I'm actually moving a little bit faster on the water like this. <laughs> Let me take a look real quick at this real fast. The diving boots cause your player to walk through water faster at roughly the same speed as on land. Diving pants work like aqua affinity and make you mine faster when underwater. Ah, okay, so it does kind of help a little bit. That's good to know. All right, I'm going to make me a quick little extra utilities generator. So I'm going to need a few pieces of cobblestone, which we have. A furnace. I believe I'm going to need an iron ingot. And I think two pieces of redstone should do. The rutile ore is what I'm going to be needing soon. Iron ingot, cobblestone, and this should just make us a survivalist generator. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of coal. That should sustain us long enough and for enough trips if we want to do any moving around. Oops. I'm going to have to clean this place up a little bit and add some more stuff on the inside. Got some ideas coming soon, don't worry. But yeah, I think I am moving a little bit faster. At least it feels that way. Alright, let's just pop this guy right there. Put one piece of coal in there, which will last for 25 minutes. Now, ooh, there it goes. Yeah, it's spinning too. Good. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to have me a little bit of fish. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Something's pulling me in here. Whoa. Oh, it's the coral. The coral kind of pulls you in, I guess. All right, I'm just going to pick up this pearl oyster while I'm down here. Okay. So what I'm looking for down here is bubbles. I'm looking for... Oh, hello. Oh, there's a cave down there. Yeah, I'm kind of looking for bubbles. And I think one of the best ways that I'm going to find it is keeping an eye on these like uh, kelps I think or seaweed which one is it kelp okay I'm not sure if it's just like a little everywhere or if it's just in kelp 
It's usually the only place that I've seen it was in kelp. Oop, there it is. You guys see that right there? The bubbles right here? Now, from what I understand, this kind of indicates that, hey, that there's a cave underneath this, and it's expelling natural gas. Now, unfortunately, I think I'm a little too far away from my diving setup, so I might have to move it over a little bit further. But at least we found some. That's a good start. We're going to be able to get me some natural gas set up for me. Oh, yeah, see, that's perfect. All right, and is this thing actually saving anything? Yeah, it's got a little stored power. That's good. So I don't actually have to put... Okay, good. That did pick up. Did I get my angel block? Nice. Uh, but, yeah, I don't have to keep putting coal in my furnace. Where's this guy at? It's over this way somewhere. Oop, there it is. Right there. Oh, come on now. There we go. All right, let's get this place back down. Air pump. Survivalist generator, go. There we go. Everything's good to go. All right. Now, let's see. I need a few building blocks, I think. Yeah, a little bit of dirt should be all right. Actually, let's use cobblestone. I got more of that. All right, so it's coming out of this piece of sand right here. So you can see it says gas leak. I'm not going to dig onto that. I'm actually going to dig down next to it somewhere. It's kind of hard because of these... Whoa, hello. Hey, baby Fred, what are you doing? Stay away from my setup over there. He's trying to tamper with my stuff. Get out of here. I'm using that. Jeez, how rude. All right, so if I dig down here, if I can get in here... There we go. I should find myself a cave around here somewhere. Uh oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, oh wait, no, that's okay. That's fine. I'll seal that off. Actually, I want to dig off this way just a little bit. minute where is it at gas leak was right there there should be a cave somewhere underneath this in my experience of doing this before that is and I know it's very dark and you guys can't see but there's a reason why I'm not trying to like light up the area at the moment um, reason is the natural gas that's underwater um, is flammable by torches so if I like throw a torch down and we run into some it'll catch on fire so I don't want that to happen because I do want to be able to collect the natural gas so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna try and dig around down here a little bit in hopes of finding this I know you guys won't be able to see too well so I'm just gonna try and do this off camera real quick and once I get to it uh, I'll see if I can't try to show you guys all right, guys, I had no luck on that other gas leak over back towards the base. I had to do a little bit more exploring. Got my diving setup going again, so we should be good for breathing. I found another gas leak right here, and I'm going to go ahead and start digging right here, straight down, in hopes that we'll find a cavern, because I did go back to base and grabbed my basic materials and processing which said a little bit about natural gas in it so I went ahead and read through that a tad bit I also grabbed some glowstone dust since we have galactic craft installed we have glowstone torches I don't know how well this is actually gonna work in hopes that it won't you know like ignite anything <laughs> so I'm gonna hope for that if not I have a glowstone block which I still don't know whether or not that's gonna work uh, but I'm trying to keep an eye on my map here. See if I can find, like, a cavern. Alright, guys. You hear that? I don't know. You guys might be able to see it, too. But I, I dug down quite a ways here. Managed to find a small little cavern. I looked. There's a baby zombie down here. And he was, like, inflicted with an effect a second ago. In fact, yep, Fred is, too. <laughs> That's why I always bring my diving dagger with me. Never trust these guys. <laughs> Oh, I do not have much armor. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was a pretty solid hit. Okay. Yeah, I know you guys aren't going to be able to see too well, but 
this place has natural gas. You can tell because I have weakness and mining fatigue in it. Looks like it's actually a fairly closed off cave too, so as long as I'm down here, I think I should be all right. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna set down my air pump that I grabbed from the surface. And I think I should be able to put my drum right on top of this. If I start pumping this, is that gonna go in there? Mm, this is, oh, there it is, yep, there we go. So it's gonna make its way in there, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna just use my survivalist generator here. And I'm gonna let that pump all of the natural gas from this room in here into our drum. So, so far we've got 24 buckets worth, which isn't too bad. Now we got up to 32, which is awesome. Now you guys might be wondering why I'm not placing a torch down just yet. I'm gonna wait just a minute in hopes that we can get a, a good amount of natural gas set up and then I'll see about possibly throwing down like a glowstone torch and uh, seeing what will happen. Hopefully nothing too horrendous happens. Bats, get out of here. Hey, get, get, I can see you, bat. Jeez, you guys are annoying sometimes. Ooh, hey, I got a little wool of bat. Nice. 80 buckets of natural gas so far. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, keep in mind for the flippers, I believe it was what, the hard plastic? We need five buckets worth of natural gas just to make one hard plastic. So, to make just the flippers themselves, we're going to need, what is that, 20 buckets of natural gas? So 20,000 millibuckets. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. This thing's like halfway full so far. We're still getting the debuff. So I'm pretty sure there's still a good amount in here so far. I'm going to go ahead and attempt this. Now, unfortunately, this could kill me. Because I do not have... Do I have a bucket of water on me? I don't, do I? I don't. All right, well, I'm gonna try it. I don't know if that's gonna like explode anything, but at least you guys might be able to see a little bit better. I think we're okay for the time being. I think the glowstone torch is helping. I don't know if there's, yeah, I think it's working actually. All right, our natural gas drum is almost full. I'm actually gonna just pop one over here then. I'm guessing the glowstone torches are working, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these guys around. Normally, if you'd put like a torch around, everything, all the natural gas just starts igniting. So, not awesome at all. Trust me, especially when you can't ever get it back either. So, uh, kind of stinks. But anyways, our drum is full. There we go. Nice. All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just pick all of this stuff up. And I'm gonna make my way back to base real quick, guys. I'll probably have this place marked off for later on. Because it seems like there might be some more sitting around in there. So I'm gonna head back to base and I think we might go ahead and get started trying to craft up the next tier armor. All right, so I'll see you guys back in just a minute. All right, guys, made it back to our diving shack here in the basement. I went ahead and made myself another armor stand for our diving suit there. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I think I'm just going to place this uh, <laughs> drum of natural gas, maybe just right here for now. So we got a full drum. I'm actually going to go ahead and start using a little bit of it. Um, for now, what I want to go ahead and just do is make the mask. So what is it called again? Scuba mask, all right? Let's see what we need to make that scuba. All right, so we're gonna need two plastic lenses, which we're gonna need some neoprene and some transparent glass, or plastic, actually. So we need one bucket of natural gas and a vat. That shouldn't be too bad. So I'm actually gonna make a separate vat for this. So there we go, we got a vat there. Bucket, I'm gonna place this guy. For now, I'm just gonna place it right here, just, oops, not there here because ooh, um, I thought I could like pull out of that that's ooh, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue um, I guess what I could do is use a fluid duct lever let's see maybe maybe a build craft tank 
Should be able to use that, right? So I'll put it like right there. Put that there. Flip that the other way. In fact, you know what? Let's actually, for the sake of room, let's go ahead and make a pneumatic servo. So I'm gonna need two glass, piece of redstone, which actually made it into my inventory this time because my my backpack was full. Awesome. All right, there we go. Pneumatic servo. And we're just gonna set that guy up right there. Switch that to ignore, and is this filling up? Perfect, filling up with natural gas. All right, now tell me, please. No, drat. All right, um, well actually this makes a lot of sense. You shouldn't be able to fill up a bucket with natural gas. You should be able to fill up a glass bottle with natural gas. Duh. All right, there we go. All right, so there's one bucket worth of natural gas in there. I can't believe I derped out that hard. Wow. All right, if I put that in there, you see the particle effects right there. That is making us up some plastic. Next off, I'm going to need the neoprene, so that's going to require... Oh, wow. All right, so we're going to need the bottle of natural gas. Now, it would be nice to have this type of bottle, which is heat-resistant glass, which is quick lime and molten aluminum. All right, so this might take a little while. This might not be able to be done just yet. All right, I really wanted to do this, but it might have to wait. Just because the neoprene is going to require rubber bars, which I actually have, but it's also going to require a hefty amount of those pearls. How many do I have? Yeah, I think I'm, I might actually have enough. All right. Yep, let's go for it. Let's go for the gold, guys. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to need one more of those. Neoprene's gonna require, how much neoprene do I need? Two, three, actually wait, I might not have enough. Cause this is four, so I'm gonna need eight in total cause I need two plastic lenses. So eight times four is 32. Yeah, actually, my math was wrong. <laughs> I don't think I have enough. All right, so I'm gonna have to farm some uh, pearl oysters between this episode and next. All right, well, that's not too much of a loss. At least we got our natural gas harvested today. We do have two transparent plastics ready to go. Actually, I want to just... Huh. That's actually pretty nice. Might be able to use that a little bit later. Um, so what I'm going to do probably between this episode and next is head out, find some more pearl oysters, uh, set some more of them up over here in our little farm that we have going at the moment and see if I can get some more uh, pearls for us. Now before we end off today, one of the last things I want to make is a mirror, which I'm actually going to go up to a magic mirror. So I'm going to need a little bit of aluminum, iron, and glass pane. Do I even have a glass pane? I have thickened glass. I know I have some regular glass here that I cooked up, so that'll work. Glass pane. I'm going to need some Aluminum, I think it was five, two, three, four, five, and an iron. There we go, there's a mirror. Now I want to upgrade this to a magic mirror. So I'm gonna use my enchanting table, four pearls, the mirror, and storage bookshelves. So I'm gonna need three chests and some wood. Actually, you, come here. Put that away, put that away. Oops, I need this. So I'm gonna need three chests. And I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do this. That should be enough. To make myself a few of these storage bookshelves. Perfect, all right, so now I should have everything to make the magic mirror. Put that there. One, two, three mirror on the top. Now all we need is four pearls. I'm going to go ahead and use the three orange pearls and maybe a red pearl. Oops. Nope. There we go. Magic mirror. Awesome. Now I have 50 levels to enchant with. I'm going to go ahead because I know I have had good luck before with gold. I'm going to enchant a golden helmet in hopes that I might be able to get respiration on it. Hopefully. Actually, hold on, I need to shift right-click 
the mirror to take it up to level 30 first, because I'm going to put 30 levels on this. Alright guys, cross your fingers. Respiration, please. Breaking 3, Flim Flam 1, Magic Resistance 4. No luck. Alright. Unfortunate, but it's alright. Um, I don't think I've gotten anything else in here yet. Breaking 3, Inferno 2, Protection 3. Nope. Alright. Still hoping to get a Respiration book sometime soon for the gas mask, but for now, I think that's going to about do it for today. So we got ourselves some... Um, natural gas and I'm gonna go ahead and farm up some more of the pearls between this episode and next and go ahead and get our next tier of diving suit going on so I want to say thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think if you guys have any helpful tips tricks or comments feel free to put them in the comment section down below if you would rate the video I would really really appreciate it and until next time guys I'll see you guys then goodbye <laughs>